A Calgary father whose young daughter died of a methadone overdose will spend the next two years in prison. 16-month-old Summer Hope died after she swallowed the methadone, which her father was taking to treat drug addiction. Kevin Rich reports. Jonathan Hope was sentenced for failing to provide the necessities of life to his 16-month-old daughter, Summer. Justice Earl Wilson told Hope, you did nothing to help your daughter. A family relative says the judge's comments and the sentence handed down are fair. The remarks made to Jonathan were, were very direct and maybe a little hard to hear, but they're true. Summer Hope died in August of 2006 after drinking her father's methadone treatment. Neither Jonathan Hope nor the girl's mother sought any medical help for their dying daughter. Before he was sentenced, Jonathan Hope told the court, I wish I could go back and change everything. I miss my daughter. I know I will never get over it. The Crown was satisfied with the sentence. Ken McCaffrey met with defense counsel and came up with the formula, which is similar to the sentence Summer Hope's mother, Lisa Gurin, received. Hope was given two and a half years, six months for time already served, and two years in a federal penitentiary. Prosecutor McCaffrey told reporters there are lessons learned from the trial. Methadone is a very powerful drug, and parents should always do what is necessary to take care of a child. You, know, you have to uh, uh, do your best, and uh, whenever there's a question, you make sure you get a proper answer. Run to a neighbor's house, use whatever phone you can, flag somebody down, uh, carry the child if you have to to a medical center. Just as Earl Wilson went along with the joint sentencing submission from the Crown and Defence, saying that for the most part, Hope and Gurren were equally culpable in the death of 16-month-old Summer Hope. Kevin Rich, CTV News, Calgary. Jonathan Hope will serve his time in a federal prison where it's more likely he'll get help for his substance abuse problems.